Hey, welcome back to part two. Uh, in this one, we're going to be looking at handling images. Now, it's partly a really important thing to just know what these images are and kind of exactly what we're doing when we're editing them. We'll get to that in a minute. In the first place, handling the image here really means how you get at it to do things to it. So um, you'll notice, for example, um, this thing is showing up here at 33.3%. So in other words, it's a lot bigger than it seems to be. That's what she said. And I'm going to go up here to view. And this is a menu full of kind of the formal way to do things like zoom in and out. Right? Zoom. Zoom. Now, you might have noticed that there were actually shortcut keys in there. Learning the shortcut keys will improve your life in Photoshop enormously. And so that was control plus to zoom in. And just as, as obviously, I guess it's control minus to zoom back out again, right? And if we keep on hitting it, we find <laughs> Homer drifting off into the distance. And it turns out that I can hit it about this many times <laughs> before uh, it's basically gone. Now, it's still every bit as much the file. Now we're only viewing it at 0.2%, right? Control plus to the rescue, back we come. And if we go the other way, now this is going to be really boring, so let me see if I can at least find some color for us here. There we are. All right. Let's find this spot here. Now, Control Plus, and we're back again. Now, you know what these things are. These things are pixels. We're now looking at the bottom level of this graphic. There is nothing smaller than one of these, right? This is what the this is the construction material for documents. Now I'm going to get back up to basically full size here. Now, how did I do that? That's uh, turns out it's 37.5 percent there. How did I do that? I went view, fit on screen. Only I didn't. There's the shortcut key. To fit on screen. Control zero. Incredibly useful. You know another good one? Control one. This is seeing the document full size. And you often need to switch back and forth between working close, seeing the actual thing, uh, control zero, fitting on screen, control one, back to 100%, and so on. Right? There's a number of number of different shortcut keys that are essential, essential tools. There's another way of interacting with it, uh, which is a little less jumpy, right? So before, when I was hitting Control plus plus and Control minus minus, you notice it's a hard increment every time that we hit. If you hold down the Alt key and you access the scroll wheel on your mouse, you can essentially control that flow more smoothly. Right? You see how that felt a little bit more controlled? And then, of course, I can zoom back out, holding down the Alt key, and scroll wheel back. Now, and when I stop holding down Alt, then scrolling goes up and down. All right. Um, let's see. What else do we need to do here? Let's talk a little bit about selection. Now, I'm going to go deep into selection in a little bit here. But under the Select menu, you'll notice there's all. And again, that's Control A. So basically, if you're going to do something like, say, you know, copy the whole picture, it's going to be Control A. And you see the line of marching ants around the outside. Control C. File. New. Create. Control V. And paste it. All right. So we're now cloning the guy. Here's Homer and Homer. Right. So uh, and when a file is selected, it's available to all sorts of harm. So uh, I'm going to deselect this, Control D. All right, keeping these things short, wrapping them up at under about five minutes or so. So I'll be back with more about images in a minute.